Welcome. I have a story about a lady who is in her late, as a matter of fact, she's precisely 39. And um, she's had uh, a series of bad relationships. As a matter of fact, she's, she's had several bad relationships. The most recent ones, rather, are two different cases where she had to see two gentlemen through school uh, to university level and uh, up to their master's degree overseas hoping that they would come back and settle down with her. But when they left, they moved on with their lives and never returned. Now, she's so depressed. She's, she's uh, uh, extremely, extremely frustrated that um, she's, uh, she's at a crossroad right now of dealing with these um, uh, heartbreaks and uh, uh, depressive conditions, as well as dealing with her parents and the society. Her mom, precisely, and others who are accused of being uh, uh, possessed with what is called in Africa, Obanji, who has a spirit, someone who has a spirit husband, and uh, is aware of the reason why she is uh, going through what she's going through. That's what Africans refer to as Obanji, precisely Nigerians call Obanji. So she's been accused of being an Obanji and responsible for her condition. Now, she, at this point, that's why her doing very very well financially she she's she's at a crossroad where uh she's at the point where she wants to actually end it all now her message to us was that she's fed up of everything since she's not getting love or getting respect or getting any form of commitment from people that are investments financial emotional and uh, spiritual investments in every relationship uh, she and now she's not even getting support from her family especially her mom and relatives, she believes uh, she ends it all, all the problems will follow her to the grave. Now, we don't think that's the right step to, to, to take. What do you think? What's your best advice for her at this point? She's been pushed against the wall. She doesn't have anywhere else to go. So now it's up to you to help her come out of this with your own experience and how you came out of it or someone who you you know and how they came out of it so and you do that by leaving your comments in the comment section of which she can have access to to read it and uh, uh, getting some experience from your experience or your advice i'll be right back welcome this is share with noble and my name is valentine agogo and i'm on set today with Augustino Milo, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And Monday Ike Ijoma, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, so very quickly, let, let me start with you, Monday Ike. What's your what's your advice to this lady with what she's going through, with the pressure she's getting from her family, her mother precisely, the accusations and the uh, incessant uh, uh, um, reoccurrence of heartbreaks, no matter what she does to try to keep these guys, they just don't stay. So what steps would you advise her to take? Yeah, first of all, if I get the story correctly, she is see has seen some people through to school and supposed to have brought invariably she has been looking for younger ones. And we all of us know that the younger generation, the younger ones, uh, some of our youth, uh, after wealth, not after relationship. Mm. So she should change her uh, 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 method. You should change. Look out for older widowers or uh, mm. uh, single fathers. Okay, that is one. Second, you should not allow pressure from her parents to wear her down. She should not be discouraged. Life is like that. It's up, ups and down. There are a lot of people in this world that are not married. Marriage yeah. is not the ultimate thing. Yeah. However, because of the pressure from her parents. Yeah, for her mom, she should. If she has what it takes, she can take a break from her parents, maybe one, two years, relocate her abroad, stay there, and uh, <laughs> okay. that is it's funny. But yeah. we've seen what pressure can let people lead yes. people to. A lot of people are committed to uh, suicide, so like that, so contemplate because of pressure from family. If she takes a break now, maybe one, two years, to go abroad, I don't think anybody will come down with pressure. Right now, to get married, should let so that. Thirdly, since they are looking at spirituality. Well, no, so many of us do not believe in that. She should also seek for spiritual help from spiritual fathers. They are pastors, they are bishops, they are reverend fathers who can cancel her. These are my okay. own. 
Okay, so Augusto Milo, what? How would you advise her to approach this? Yes, um, if she's um, when she gets in contact with us now, I want to believe that uh, she will get married very soon. You know why? Okay. Yes, That's I want nice. to listen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the recommendation one. Okay. You know, I'm not giving to advertising for people freely. She should lay her hands on three books. One is win, how to how to win friends and influence people. Okay. By Dali Dali Kennedy. Okay. She buy that book. Then go ahead and get. The Power of Positive Thinking by Dr. Norman Vincent Peel and the component of um, the, the composite part of it, that is uh, the, the result of positive thinking. These three books, okay. she should lock herself up if possible and maybe within the shortest period, read from the beginning to the end mm -hmm. as though that your life depends on this book. And if she does not have a husband in the next, uh, maybe <laughs> give and take, even before the year or so, no, she, okay. she should call me. Okay. Yes, because why I'm recommending this book is because uh, there is no Ogbanje content in the books. And okay. the books are books that, uh, that's why I say the power of positive thinking and the result of positive thinking. Okay. Yes, my them with uh, that, uh, the how to win friends and influence people, and you get a husband. I'm telling her because I know what these books have done in the lives of people. people. Yes, having said that, she has to restructure her mindset. Because getting a husband does not require you becoming a scholarship board. <laughs> you don't need it. Mm. Yes, because yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, you know, so there are so many gold diggers everywhere. Very and then now you are awarding scholarship to people to go to school. If you have to be uh, philanthropic, okay. not because you want to get a, a husband, mm -hmm. do it because it is uh, your 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 nature to do that. And there is a reward, reward for that. And one of the rewards could be that you get a husband. Not because okay. don't train somebody because you want the person to marry you. Marry you. It's wrong. Because your father did not train you because he wanted to keep you in his house. His house yeah. Yes, he trained you so that you can go out and explore. So get other techniques of uh, getting close to people and see how you can get yourself out of this. How pattern. she approach her mom's pressure? Yes, the mom's pressure. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had uh, when uh, Michael Joma was uh, saying uh, he can take a leave and leave the environment. Yes, okay. yes. but uh, beyond that, her mother, her father, whatever they say. She should not take them uh, for granted because they are parents that actually whatever they are saying they are saying it actually from the bottom of their heart they they they, they, they wish the best for you as parents but unfortunately their wish is not coming to pass in your life and therefore listen to them as much as possible but go out to listen to yourself more and discover what you should do don't forget that your parents are your parents you know wishing you well also so don't argue with them so much don't cry because cry will not do solve the problem you know so Listen to them, but do but that listen. which you're supposed to do personally. Like I just how, said. how does she get to listen to herself? Yes, because listen. obviously she has she, she has spoken to herself, yes. and her conclusion is to end it all. Yes, listen to herself. That means that she she's sharing us now. One is that suicide is not the solution. All right. Two is that people have passed through similar conditions and they are still standing and they have found solution to their problem. Okay. So your own cannot be an exception. So if you search for the solution, yeah, you will get search. it. Where there is problem is if you have concluded that uh, there is no more hope for you. But mm -hmm. for me, search for more solutions and you get them by restructuring your mind. And that is why I recommended this book so that uh, she can find out some things by herself. You know, whether from the beginning of the book or at the end or in the middle. But she she not read from chapter one and just drop it. Finish all of them and see how they can help now, you. Before, before before I go to there's, there's something um on the I mentioned. And it's, it actually came to me in a different perspective when he mentioned it. I didn't see it from that angle. You know, she mentioned in her story, in her writing to us, that um, she had trained people to school. Mm -hmm. Now, which means, like he said, probably either people within an age range or probably younger. So, do you also... Uh, is, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong in settling for a younger man if he really really cares about you and loves you and to wants to settle with you or does she have to just change that narrative completely and move for the older folks either a widower or a single uh, parent dad like he recommended or probably settle for a second wife or so would you uh, ask her to go that route <laughs> if that's what nature offers at the end of the day yes i've said it before thoughts are things so whatever she harbors in her heart for too long becomes her portion so if now she had been all along, um, you know, going around with uh, the notion that uh, she, was going to, she was going to marry younger people and it doesn't happen, that was because her mindset was uh, actually uh, not uh, properly uh, tailored. 
Now, for her to decide who to marry, whether younger or older, depends on what she thinks within herself. You know, if she thinks she actually needs a husband that want to take care of her, whether older or younger, just give a specification of what you want. And for a very long time, keep it in your heart. And don't be distracted. You'll get it. So it's all in her position to say, I want a younger one or I want another one. Oh, another one can come. Married, single uh, parents or uh, widower can come. But most importantly, determine that uh, this is the type of person I want. And at the fullness of time, the person will come. But don't begin to award scholarships. Stop it. Okay. Um, more than Joma. Um, concerning her desperation, because from her story, she's actually pressing for it. Despite all the other failed relationships here in Nigeria, she has also had to sponsor others. In fact, we one would think that if you sponsor the first person outside the country and he never returned to you, you wouldn't embark on a second sponsorship. But she went the second time. Now, with the level of desperation she has, there's no telling if a third sponsorship will come up or, or whatever the case may be. That tells you how a little bit fragile she is, how tender she is as, as a young uh, 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 woman, all right, even though she's just 39. But how would you ask her to guard her decision making process? Because nowadays we have, like uh, Augusto Milo mentioned, gold diggers everywhere. You see wolves packaging themselves in sheep's clothing. So there's no telling, there's no way you can just tell from just uh, uh, men looking at someone to say, okay, this person has good plans for me. Because they could package their evil plans in such a perfect way that you would never ever find out. How would you ask her to? How would you advise her to, to direct her thoughts pattern, all right, in making her decision about uh, uh, who to get involved with, whether it's a younger man or an age range, age range, or some probably somewhat older. Because we could also get gold diggers who are older, single parents also who are older could also be gold diggers. So how would you ask her to make her decision? Because she's obviously doing very well for herself. Yeah, first of all, she needs to disabuse her mind from the issue of marriage. She should leave it aside. Remove it from her mind. Relieve, first of all, relieve the pressure from, from herself. Because she is mounting unnecessary pressure on herself. First of all. Okay. Not with the, the one the parents are mounting, notwithstanding. She is mounting pressure on herself by thinking about it every now and then. She should stop worrying herself about it. She should relax. It was like I said, if possible, change the environment, start afresh, start in from a new beginning. Probably people around her already know are aware of her desperation, and more people are coming. Even the older ones, you will see the gold diggers who will come because of her money. They are not coming because they genuinely love her. But if she change the environment, she starts seeing new people, a different set of people that have never seen before, people who are not aware of her background. There's tendency that she meets a the nice, the right person, whether young or old. But for now, I'm sure everybody around her are aware of her desperation and they will be coming. Mind you, some of these younger ones, they have a kind of network that when I go, I succeed, I'll tell you this is who, who this is where this is how I went. They're looking for her. Yeah. She should be there, it's there. So she should first of all re reduce her desperation. If possible. Change her narrative, change her, uh, her perspective about the marriage issue. Okay. The desperation is much uh, mounting more pressure on her than what the parents are mounting. Okay. On, on that same uh, thought, what, what would you have to say? Yes, I still insist she just take these books I recommended. Everything we're supposed to say, even if we are going to stay here. Please repeat the books again. The in case books, you didn't get the first time. Number one is uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People okay. by Dali Kanige. Right. The second one is uh, by Dr. Vincent Norman Peel, The Power of Positive Thinking and the Result of Positive Thinking. Okay, those two books. She should read them as though her life depends on these books. A thought and, pattern uh, will change. Yeah, thought pattern will change. And uh, so long uh, once she releases herself to a uh, natural uh, system of uh, thinking, she will get over her position and uh, live again. All right, that's as much as we can take for this episode. Uh, definitely, definitely, like I started with, suicide is never the answer. That's, that's a wrong thought that should be swept under the rug immediately, all right? You have a whole lot of life ahead of you, a whole, whole lot of things to achieve, uh, and uh, um, ending it all can never solve the problem, all right? As a matter of fact, for my panelists here, you actually don't have any problem, all right? You're, it's like, like making a mountain out of a mold hill. So all you need to do right now for my panelists is 
move on with your life and change your thoughts pattern and of course the narrative would change in the long run but what do you think over there what do you think out there you could also lend your suggestion your uh, uh, opinion your your advice on the approach you should take uh, probably in a, uh, an agreement with us here or in disagreement with us here you could have, have, actually have something better to offer and do that quickly in the comment section and of course should go through and pick the ones that best suits our problem urgently like i always say please do like share drop your comments and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button to get similar pumps updates on share with noble